Hi, my name is Will Forbes and I'm a current business and management student at Leeds Beckett University and this is my buying behaviour vlog. So in this vlog I'm going to be discussing the customer decision making process and the three different buying situations which are routine problem solving, limited problem solving and extended problem solving and I'm going to be linking them to three products that I've just recently bought. So the first product that I've just recently bought are a pair of black bands which I feel definitely fall under the routine problem solving situation for me as shoes are a, are a regular purchase of mine, you know it's an, it was an impulse purchase, a short decision making process and I needed a new pair of shoes and I felt that Vans, they're really popular, they, they go with a lot of other clothes and that definitely influenced my decision on buying them. In terms of the information search, I did a lot of research online trying to find a pair of shoes that I liked and obviously I came across the Vans through the Vans website. Um, alternatives just weren't as nice as the Vans so that's why I decided to purchase Vans. I bought them online, the post purchase evaluation I would say they, they look good, they're really comfortable, they go with absolutely everything I wear and I would definitely buy them again. So after receiving the Vans in the post I had to re-evaluate the product and this theory is called cognitive dissonance and this is basically where you reevaluate your attitude and opinion on a product and thankfully for the vans that I'd purchased I loved them really happy with them so the second product that I'm going to be talking about is a laptop that I just recently bought now I feel that this is a limited problem solving situation as you know it's a less frequent purchase of mine it took a lot of decision making it was moderately expensive and it had limited risk now in terms of the need for recognition, I needed one for uni, which is what influenced me in getting one, you know, I've been able to do my uni work and browse the internet and things like that. And in terms of the information search, I had to look around at different stores, different websites, trying to find which was the best one for me in terms of the price range and what I needed the laptop to do. And a lot of alternatives were quite fancy and they did more than what I needed to do, so I decided to get this one that I'd bought and I purchased it at a local store near where I live. And the post purchase evaluation was, you know, it wasn't too fancy, it did exactly what I needed to do, and it's worked, it's been pretty reliable so far. Now I'm going to talk about another theory Maslow's hierarchical structure of needs. Now, we basically believe that for someone to be motivated to do a good job, they have to have certain needs met. Things such as like safety, you know, having security at work, having a good workplace, having family and friends and feeling loved having physical things to do a good job and I feel that I needed a laptop in order to do well at uni and I feel like that this theory relates really well to my recent purchase of a laptop. So the third and final product I'm going to be talking about today is a car that I've just recently purchased and now I feel that this is a definitely an extended problem solving situation because it's an extremely infrequent rare purchase that I would never usually do. You know it's a very long term commitment you know, it took a long. It was a long decision-making process, and it's a serious investment. It cost a lot of money, and in terms of the need for recognition, I needed a car to get around to my part-time job, to uni. You know, in terms of information search, looking around for different cars, I visited many car dealerships, and I knew from the start that I wanted a Corsa, mainly because a lot of young lads drive them and they're quite a reliable nice looking car to drive you know that had a map that definitely influenced me a lot the fact that they're quite a young kid's car and um, in terms of evaluation of alternatives you know I, I wanted a course that I wasn't really interested in getting any other kind of car and I went to an Evans Halshaw dealership to purchase a car and you know, after buying the car my overall evaluation of it was you know it's a very good reliable car it's in good condition I've got a lot of car for my money and it gets me from A to B. And that's my buyer behaviour vlog complete. Thanks for watching.